Before humans made clocks, how did they tell time? Many cultures use astronomy to tell the seasons and the time. The rising and setting of the sun guided their days and nights, while the phases of the moon measured the seasons. Every season began with either the solstice or the equinox. Ancient astronomers called the day where the sun appears to reach its highest or lowest point the solstice, meaning the day the sun appears to stand still. They named the days where the night and the day seem to be equal the equinox. March 20th, 2023 is the vernal or spring equinox. The March equinox is sometimes called the northward equinox since the sun's path in the sky continues its movement further north every day until June when the sun begins, begins its journey south. The equinox marks the exact moment when the center of the sun crosses the equator and is directly overhead at noon. It also marks the beginning of astronomical spring, which is different than meteorological spring. Meteorological spring starts March 1st and is based on annual temperatures. Astronomical spring is related to the Earth's position in relation to the sun rather than being tied to temperatures. So is an equinox really a day with equal daylight and nighttime? Not really. Since the sun is big and is not just a point in the sky, it takes time for the sun to rise and set. Technically, sunrise starts when the upper edge of the sun meets the eastern horizon and sunset, sunset ends when the upper edge of the sun sinks below the western horizon. Since the sun is not a point in the sky and it has an upper and lower edge, the daylight time on an equinox is slightly longer than the night. In the northern hemisphere, spring equinox means longer days, warmer weather, and plant and animal life emerging from their winter habitats. Take a look at some of the babies you can see at our parks during spring. However, in the southern hemisphere, the opposite is occurring with cooling temperatures and shorter days. It is their autumnal equinox. Today, we don't use the sun and the stars as our watches, but we still like to stare up into the sky in fascination. Next time you visit a South Carolina State Park, turn off all of your lights and discover the beauty above. If you are lucky, you might see the Milky Way, but even if you don't, the beauty up there is worth a second look.